it's family hour. There must be something on. It's Monsters, our favorite show. Shh, it's starting. way to walk in the rain. My car got stuck. You shouldn't have come. I was worried. Well, you should have called first. I tried. The phone's disconnected. It is? What the hell is going on here, May? Nothing. Everything is fine. No, it's not. I haven't heard from you for over a year. And then I get a call from the real estate agent saying that you've moved in. We agreed to sell the cabin after Dad died. I won't be here that long. May, the place is falling apart. I mean, how can you live here, alone, and in your condition? My condition? What are you, seven, eight months? May, how come you didn't tell me? I'm your sister. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Besides, uh, I've always wanted to be an aunt. <laughs> May, you can come and live with me. I got plenty of room. Frank doesn't like me. Well, he's gone. Gone? Yeah, I threw him out. He was good. But he was good to everybody. No, I'm all right. You know, it's better that it happened now instead of later. There's a tow truck in the village. He could pull you out. You really don't want me here, do you, May? I, I just think you'd be safer. <laughs> battery's dead. What? You took so long. I'm sorry. But I got all your favorites. I was afraid something had happened to you. What would I do? Aren't you going to introduce me? I'm Peter. I'm Ellen, her sister. So you are. I've been feeling some pain. Can we go up now? Maybe we should take you to a doctor.
I made breakfast. There's food for May in the oven. Let's even get her to eat when she gets up. You got some money on you? What? For the tow truck. I'm gonna need some money. I washed your clothes. They were kind of muddy. They're hanging in the kitchen, almost dry. Close them. The light bothers my eyes. Peter made breakfast. Mm. I've never gone with a guy who made breakfast for me. Mm. What's he do? What? For a living. He takes care of me. Where'd you meet him? He was here. Living in the house? Yes. Oh, for God's sake, May. This is really unbelievable. I mean, how could stay you- Stay away from him. What? Just stay away. Give me a break. I know every time I had something, you had to have it too. I did not. The green sweater, the red saddle shoes, the star sapphire ring guy Bolton gave me in the eighth grade. Don't worry about it. He's not my type. Not my type. But he is a good cook. He said I wouldn't be very hungry towards the end. Who said this? Your doctor? Peter. When was the last time you saw a doctor, May? Have you had any real prenatal care? You know how important that is. He takes care of me. He's gonna help me when the time comes. No way. Look, just as soon as my car gets fixed, I'm taking you to a doctor. People have babies in hospitals, not in the middle of nowhere. I mean, what if something goes wrong? It won't. Peter knows what to do. You can't take that chance, May. You don't know. It's my life. It's my life, not yours. Peter is the first good thing that ever happened to me. I never felt so loved in my life. Never from my mother never from my father, and never from you. I'm sorry I said those things to you. It's okay. I've been feeling a little crazy, you know? Yeah, well, who wouldn't? But you should have called me. I would have come up. Oh, I can still get around. I, I'm, I'm not an invalid. Okay, I'm 
a little tired. Put your feet up. Now I'm gonna go upstairs and clean up. There's no need to. Where's Peter? I don't know. I thought he'd be back by now. Sorry. I didn't know you were here. I was cleaning up. Oh, I didn't hurt you, did I? No. What about my car? They'll get to it. There are a lot of wrecks along the highway. A lot of people out of control. I think you ought to know that we're leaving as soon as we can. Why would you want to do that? Have you ever delivered a child before? Yes. Lots of them. Are you telling me you're a doctor? I know what to do. I have an instinct for it. For God's sake, Peter, it's your kid, too. Well, is that what you think? Well, I just assumed. Mm, you could be wrong. Maybe she was pregnant before we met. And maybe she needed someone, and she reached out to me, and I was there. Fate. Is that what happened? What does the truth matter? You've already made up your mind about me and about men. You are just like your sister. No, I'm not. She didn't believe me either. I had to show her too. Show her what? That I could take away the pain. What are you talking about? Would you like me to show you? Um, my sister, she might hear us. Don't make a lot of noise. Show me. you now well, what about my sister she's not as good as you you're much better I want you to have my child Oh, God. <laughs> Peter. <sighs> don't you want to have babies? I don't even know you. Oh, God, it's crazy the way I'm feeling right now. I think I'm 16. It's too weird. I mean, what, are the three of us going to stay in the same house together? <sighs> Whatever you want. Oh, damn it. May! God, 
it's all your fault. Get off! Out of here now while you still can. Go. No, I won't leave you. No, why did you have to do it? Why? I'm sorry. Just don't do this, please, May. You don't want to do this. Please, don't do this. It's killing me. It's eating me up inside. He makes the pain go away, but I can still feel. Put the knife down. May, don't do it. Put it down. the feed in this big old house. Please, get some help. Get some help. They always die. My mother did. Then I'll go. May, I'm gonna get you a doctor. Your sister was a fighter, too. I like that in the struggle is everything. Only the strong survive. What did you do to me? It will wear off in a day or so. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Please don't leave me, Peter. I'm here, darling. I need you to push. Can you do that? Push. See it! It's coming! Push, darling! Please, darling, push! What is it, my darling? You won't leave me, will you? No, my dear. Mm. I won't. Mm. 